Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's a bit chilly in here tonight. <sighs> How are we doing? Is everyone okay? Can't believe it. it's been a fortnight since we were last doing a live stream. Seems crazy, doesn't it? I mean, it just literally does seem like a lifetime ago. Anyway, right. <clears throat> welcome, welcome along. If you're new, please do say hello. If you've been here before, I hope you'll be saying hello anyway. Hopefully, as you're looking at the moment, the chat's nice and busy. Lots of uh, familiar names and faces in there. So good evening to you all. Thank you so much for joining us this evening on behalf of AD and myself. So <clears throat> as you may have noticed, and as I have put out on social media, as you've seen on the thumbnail image uh, on the uh, stream, uh, we are doing a live painting giveaway this evening. So the rules, and I'll go over this again if we get new people on throughout the evening. The rules are very, 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 very super simple. They've got to be simple so that I understand them. All you've got to do, drop us a comment. That's it. Just make a comment. You could just say hi. If you're shy, you can just put a smiley face. But um, that's all you've got to do is literally leave a comment. And uh, at a random point in the evening, so you've got to stay tuned. I'll be doing the draw on a laptop with a big spinny wheel, yes? No tech spared for your enjoyment this evening, ladies and gents. That's exactly what you're going to get. The big spinning wheel. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. And well, I wonder... Hello, Zane Taylor. Good day, Eddie. Uh, sorry, Ed and uh, AD. How's Mrs. Uh, AD doing? Very well, thank you. It's kind of... Yes, just to give you an update, Mrs. Adrian is doing <laughs> very well, thank you very much. Uh, so very kind of you to ask. So uh, yes. Uh, anyway, we're going to do just before we get started. Got a great painting to do for you this evening. I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a shout out from some of you guys. Uh, right. So where are you and what are you up to? Uh, R Bailey says hello. Good evening, Elizabeth. Oh, it's going. Blimey, that's a lot of chat. Uh, Derek Austin, hello. Natalie Road, Brian O'Meara. Um, oh, it's all scrolling up rather quickly. HP, new to your live streams, looking forward to seeing what's created today. Good evening to you, it's all going so quick. Ryan Krebs, hey Ryan, how you doing? Carl Miles Art, Tanya Woodford, Patty Nelson, Sandra Thompson, Megan Michael, any relation? Uh, Fabian Curto, hi there from Utah, hello Fabian, how are you doing? Freak out tent, take off the respirator, got news for you if I do, I'm going to die. It's only a face mask, it's not a respirator. Um, Varun, I can't even pronounce that, but hello from Vancouver, how are you doing? It will be really interesting actually to see who does win the painting tonight, <laughs> and to see where in the world we've got to ship it, I'm kind of getting a little bit nervous about that. Oh, and just on that subject, if you can just see over in the corner, over in the corner where that long strip of canvas is, that's where the painting is, so I am going to be revealing that, but the actual painting he said as he walks all over the canvas, the actual painting you're going to win, one of you, is sat behind that. I kid you not, it's all going to happen. Thank you, all you got to do is leave a comment. You've got plenty of time to leave a comment, it's okay, all right, don't worry. Uh, who else we got just before we get going? Uh, John Zabata, number one fan from the Bronx. How you doing, John? Uh, who else we got? Uh, DF Oriel, uh, sci-fi artist in the future. I'll take that. Malcolm Donald, hi from County Kerry. Hello, how you doing, Malcolm? Uh, DJ Daddy P. Oh, that is a good name, isn't it? Evening, spin that wheel over here. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Uh, Tim Clemens is in Virginia. And one.com, uh, Arkansas. Hey, how you doing? We've got a few people from Arkansas recently. That's cool. Uh, Bob Zim is here. Tanya Woodford is here. I know Ian Holmes is here, Swamp Yankee Guitars, Hi Bill is here, Tim Stanton's here, uh, let's see who else we got, Lucy Blake, Hi Ed, Damien Herrera, D sorry, Dam Damiana Herrera, please don't tell me, uh, how are you doing, Nikki J says hi, Carl Hines comment, my husband and I are watching over dinner, <laughs> looking forward to seeing what's in store this evening, hope you are well, thank you Cara, that's very kind of you, yes, over dinner! I am your dinner guests. How very, very good. Okay. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, I think my backpack is a little bit unzipped, but uh, we should be all right. 
Yeah, Aidy's just going to zip up my backpack for me, just so uh, <laughs> we'll all be able to say hello. So get, so get ready. Look, we're going to. It'd be nice to queue in a great big round of applause, but the Wizard of Oz, you know, behind the screens with all the levers, he's just going to put and do up my backpack. And then, ladies and gents, hello, look, hello, everyone, hello, here he is. Look, he is real. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, <laughs> And then I'll tell you what we're going to do, because I've got everything prepped and we, we... Thanks, dude. We are not worthy. Oh, excellent. Uh, Michael Squire, clean shoes. Yeah, hi, Michael. <laughs> Third eye open. Good evening to you. Sandra Thompson, hello. Uh, Callie, Callie Shocker, hi from NYC. Hello. Diane Firth is here. Josie Rays is here. Uh, new level tattoo Wales. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Just now, we're almost ready to get going, ladies and gents. So, when you come back from the intro, which we're going to run now, I'm going to tell you exactly what we're going to do. AD, hit the VT. Then, ladies and gents, <coughs> should we do some painting? I think we should. Okay, we're going to take some regular breaks to see uh, what you guys are commenting on. I've got Adrian in my ears, so if anything you know comes up, he's going to randomly choose some comments, feed them into me. Hopefully, I can talk to you as I go. So, if this is your first time, thank you, thank you for your patience. All right, I have to wear the mask. The paints are very, very toxic, and the extractor's going on in just a moment which is why I've got ear defenders, so I can actually hear what's going on. So we're quite a technical tour de force going on here. Um, but anyway, one thing I want to show you is we're going to start... I don't know who it was. Was it Tim Stanton? I'm not sure. Right early on in the comments said about hot pink. Your wish is my command. So let me tell you now exactly what we're going to do this week, my lovely friends. OK, once Edie's back on control, I'm going to ask him to uh, switch onto my chest cam. And uh, I can just hear the zips going, so he'll be there in just a second. Let's have one last look at the comments. Uh, CPT checking, we are ready. Vince Edsmonds is here. Sjord van Hinton. Oh, this is great, guys. We're having fun. Richard J. Smith. A breath of fresh in the art world. A breath of fresh air. Thank you so much. Tim Pride, let's go. Yes, Tim. Let's go. Right then, if AD doesn't mind switching to chest cam for a moment. Right, I'll try and keep still. I've been listening to your feedback. I'll try and keep as still as I can on chest cam. So, my chest cam, can you see that? So, we're going to start off, ladies and gents. We're going to do some hot pink. We are going to do some beautiful maroon. I've then got a slight metallic pearl. It's supposed to be pearl pink, but there's no way on this planet that's pearl pink. So, some red. We're going to drop in some elements of black in the corners. I might do the odd smidge of, of purple here and there. We're going to put lots of accents through the centre in white. We're going to be doing metallic silver. And if I feel brave enough, we're going to drop in this gorgeous duck egg through the middle. Now, I did a painting a couple of years ago called Hurricanes, which is quite a, um, an important piece for me. And um, I'll explain why another day. But what I want to do is something along the similar kind of lines. I've been itching to do something like that for quite a while. So uh, I think we're going to have a, a little go with that. And it's essential. Oh! Yes, what did, look I nearly forgot, we got gold, quite a, quite a nice gold this one, uh, it's got a very very nice shiny metallic flake in it so we're going to put gold in there so lots of lovely warm colours so let me crack these open. <laughs> so John Zapata says, what does John Zapata say? Just do it in that case. <laughs> Well, if Shia LaBeouf says just do it, then we've absolutely got to just do it, haven't we? Okay, there we go. 
Now, I've just got to do one thing on my chest cam, which is pop the little polarizing filter on, which I can do forthwith. Ooh, hello. Which way up does that go? Let's try that. So I'll just contact my colleague and say, how does that look? Excellent. On the fly. Look, I didn't even have to take my gloves off. The ever the professional. It'll all fall down when I start pouring paint. <laughs> I'm only joking. Right, okay, let's crank these bad boys open. That's the pearl red, although it says it's pearl pink, liars. And let's assemble these. Look at those. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Nice, right, so that's... Oh, I just dropped the tins all over the floor. So that's fine. So we've got three lined up. Let's whack open the purple. Beautiful. I'm going to start with a little, little tiny drop of black in the corners. So let's line the black up and I'm going to start working the silver. The one problem I've got with this silver, it's a very runny silver on this particular batch of paint. And um, I might just add, I'm still waiting for my delivery of paint. Eek! That's all right, hope to have it next week. <laughs> um, so that's going to be the silver. Um, oh, and I might just... <clears throat> If I get time, remind me to tell you about what's happening in the next couple of days, all right? Uh, I can't reveal too much, but something very... <laughs> it, we're doing a project, Adrian and I, something that's never, ever, ever been done. And um, we've got quite an important day tomorrow with some work being done. I can't really say much more than that, so if that's the case, I'm just going to start painting. But if we get a chance later on, I'll talk to you about it. Okay. Right. Uh, Diane Bridger loves purple. Thank you, Diane. Kali Kari Shocker thinks they're romantic colours. Yes, I suppose they are, actually. Je t'adore! Ah, oh, yes! Thank you, Vince. Yes, they are beautiful, warm colours. Thank you, Tanya, for your feedback. That's very kind. Don't forget, if you're new or you're a bit shy, just drop me a comment. That's all you've got to do. Drop me a smiley face or just go, hello! And you're in to win! Win the painting! Right then, guys and girls, these are the colours. Let's get started. Okay, so, my basic principle here, let me talk you through the composition. Are we on overhead, are we, buddy? Fantastic, thank you. So, let's get some, let's, let's start. So what I want to do is get a little bit of warmth in the corners, first of all. Bit, sorry, a bit of darkness in the corners. It's only a little soup, son. We're just talking hints. And I want to, to have this kind of as a, almost like a frame, almost like a little vignette. Uh, around the edges. So that paint, that paint's done. Got no more black left of that one. Chop that in the bin. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the silver. Now a lot, a lot of this will all make sense as to why I'm sort of throwing this all around to begin with. But I've got to be reasonably careful where I place this because we're going to be using a tool. Uh, this tool, I'm not sure if we've used it before yet on a live stream. I'm not sure. Well, I'll show you in a minute. I'm sure you can correct me. My uh, my brain's a little bit fuzzy these days. I blame the fumes, to be honest with you. Um, okay, right. So that's fine. The next, I'm going to go in. Oh, yeah. So are we still on overhead, are we? Here we go. Are we all ready for some pink? Let's get in with the main event. Now, there are a couple of things that I need to be reasonably cute about here. One of them... There we go, that's nice. One of them is um, the way that silver and pink mix together, particularly my paints, and don't, I don't really want them mixing too much together. They just don't tend to work out too well. It's, they're just two colours that just don't, for me anyway, just don't work too well. Um, I don't mind them in a, in a few areas, but I, the reason now I'm going to pop this maroon on, and I'm going to bring this in an arc around here. And this is slightly darker, so what I'm doing here where my foot is, I'm going to bring the darkness out of the black and fuse these two together with the maroon, which is going to be a nice sort of graded uh, interlude between light and dark. But crucially, I want to bring it round as a separation point between the pink and the silver. So I'm kind of going to do the same here. There we go. Just as a little interlude. It's just going to break it up a little bit. I've only got a drop left in there. Oh, what the hell, let's get it on, shall we? Right, in fact, yeah, let's just stick it on there. Right, okay, that's good. Happy so far. All will become clear, my friends. 
Okay, so I've got to be careful with my red now because what I don't want to do is just turn it into a bloodbath. So, this is good. So we're, we're actually painting a little bit earlier than normal, aren't we guys? I think we're about 14 minutes in at the moment. So uh, we're actually cracking on tonight. Now, <laughs> oh, oh look, that's just dribbling. I'll take that. Let's just leave that to dribble for a minute. The one thing I uh, haven't mentioned yet is that if we've got time, now bearing in mind I, I know that everyone's probably got loads of things to do, <laughs> including me, uh, which is mainly painting. Well, and some prep for what we're doing tomorrow. Um, but if I get a chance, there's another canvas rolled up. I think uh, you can just see it rolled up over there. Same size. So if I get opportunity, I'm going to do that one as well. I've got something completely nuts. I mean, absolutely, like, what is he doing? All right. So anyway, that's to come. Um, right, okay, so that's to come. So the one thing I'm not going to do is put any of the gold on just yet because I want that to be my highlight at the end. So, uh, I've got a fairly light grey. We're going to have a look at the chat in a minute, guys and girls. I haven't, I'm not ignoring you. Now, because I want to try and lighten this up, particularly in these areas. Oh, Formula Rod Line says, where do you comment for a chance to win? Well, you've left a comment, Rod. That's fine. You're in the draw. Don't worry. We got it. We've got it. Don't need to worry about that at all. We got you. Right, let's get a little bit of this fluid grey on. I'm going to fuse that with the silver in the corners. That might be quite, quite nice because I want to keep the corners fairly light. But there is going to be quite a bit of lightness going on this, especially in the centre, because I want this to really open out, kind of, you know, do this kind of thing and expand. But I want the warmth all going all the way around the edges. So I think it's quite important that you know, I, I still I don't go too dark and too dense in the centre. Okay, so we're almost ready now to start and have a blend, and then I'll I'll show you my special magic tool. Um, right, okay, let's give that a whiz around. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. So if Owen Wilson thinks it's pretty good, so do I. Now, of course, as I start to use this, this, this particular tool that I'm going to be using, uh, you're going to get to see a lot of unusual blends coming out, and that's why I like using it. Uh, it's just such an expressive thing to use, it really is, and I, I don't use it that often, but it's brilliant. Okay, so it's just got some white on as well. Okay, brilliant, so we've got a ton of that gorgeous maroon on, which I'm really, really happy about. So the only thing that's left is the purple, so now I've got to try and decide where I'm going to stick some of the purple. Remember, I'm going to go in with accents of white and gold over the top at the end, so I don't really want to mess around with that. And then just before I start this, we're going to have a little look at some comments. But I just want to get a few, a few little soups on drops of the black. Right, let's just get that in the centre. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, thanks funny folks. Make sure to give us a like. I'm just gonna spray this because I need to keep I need to keep this liquid for as long as I can and I do need to thin it down just a little bit. Particularly on the white because the white's quite thick, it's actually a semi-gloss. So I'll just give this a douse, which will give me a couple of minutes of extra work time. Uh, ready for when I start going. Okay, happy days. Let's have a quick look. Where we are on chat, okay. Michelle Greenfield, been looking forward to this all day. Thank you, Michelle, me too. Uh, Diane Firth, is my magic tool a wand? Well, I'm about to show you in just a second. <laughs> okay, Diane Bridger, maroon in the room. This is gonna be awesome. Well, I hope I don't let you down. Daniel Westerbarn, everywhere. Fair enough. Artfish, me three. Now, uh, must go to the post office when it's over. My exciting day. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Um, the spray. The spray is a thinners, just to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Remember that if you are commenting, ladies and gentlemen, you are already in the draw. That's all you've got to do. Just leave a it only needs one comment and you're in the draw. So do not worry. Okay, almost ready to go. Denise Weeks did a mini of the last live painting. It came out pretty good. Excellent. Lucy likes the colour choices. Formerly Rod Line. Does it matter if it's gloss or matte? 
do they react differently? They do a little bit, but it's just the surface finish that changes in the way it reflects the light. Uh, Derek Austin says, squeegee time. Scott Robert Henderson, I'd purchase it the way it is. All major credit cards accepted, Scott. Right, ladies and gents, here we go. Let's, uh, let's create. So yes, what I'm using here is a standard mineral thinners. So it's made from uh, natural organic compounds as opposed to being a man-made substance. Uh, it just reacts better with the paints. Now this, which camera are we on, buddy? So we're on chest cam. So can we see that? This is a wall mop. I say wall. It's not actually made of wool. Um, <clears throat> but then often known as a wall mop. And uh, it's essentially a giant, uh, it's just probably a cotton type of thing. Look, this is what they are. And uh, they're a synthetic material. They wrap around a bar on the end of a telescopic handle. And this is what I'm going to use tonight. So if we can stay on chest cam, buddy, then let's dive in. And I'm going to dive in with the black to begin with. So let's have a little good. Now, one of the key things about using this particular tool is the control that you have over your hands. Now, you can go completely nuts and use the whole width of it, or you can just choose to use certain parts of it. So while we've got just a small amount of black in the corner, I want to be quite quite careful on where I actually put this black because I just don't want it to go everywhere. I just can't afford for that to happen. Let's give that another dose. Dose of the thinners rather. So <clears throat> I'm just going to be using just the, the, the sort of one of the sides of it for now. And then uh, I'm also going to work the other side as well. Do the same thing. Right, so um, was that Tim? Tim asked, Zane. Zane was asking uh, what prep I have to do. Yeah, so <clears throat> under normal circumstances, depending on what I'm actually trying to create, um, I will tend to usually uh, do a, a preparatory base coat. Oh, the my ends fell off. Uh, preparatory base coat. All that really means is I do a very, very watered down wash coat. And the wash coat just tends to uh, fill in some of the gaps in the canvas. But to be honest, saying that's not always required. And it entirely depends on what kind of painting I'm trying to do. Um, you know, if I'm doing a lot of heavy layering, I'll always do what I call a wash or a skin coat, which is what I'm just referring to. But for things where we're just having fun, and actually the, these kind of single application paintings which are done in one session, I tend just to go into it. Um, but a lot does depend in terms of prep on the volumes of paint and the styles that I'm trying to do, so that's all it is really. Okay, so Wayne says, uh, what are the roughly are the drying times for my paintings? Always a good question, glad you're asking. So it's normally a minimum of four days. Now even if it's touch dry after 24 hours on some of the very um, uh, thin layers, what tends to happen is, is there's still the incumbent vapours in the air. So I have to get rid of those vapours and that's always got a four day curing time. So no matter what happens from the time that you stop painting, there is a four day window irrespective. So I hope that answers your question. So Nikki Jane's asking, will we ever do one of the sculptures live? Not a chance. <laughs> it's way too dangerous and I have to be sat in front of a kiln which heats the aluminium to 542 degrees centigrade. So unless I can wheel one of those in here, ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we also have to sub it out to, to powder coating as well. So we have a powder coating company that takes some of the process as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's really not a demonstration sport, that one. They're very considered, they're very labour intensive and they're incredibly, well they're pretty dangerous to do actually and uh, that's why I don't do them very often. Tend to do them in batches, you know, when I can when I can get the kiln time. Hope that answers the question. So Mr. was that Mr Mystique? Mr Mystique, are you supposed to put art, art varnish over uh, when you finish? No, well actually I don't have to do any surface finishes to be honest with you. One of the great things about using these particular enamel paints is that everything is built into it. So I've got all the chemical dryers built in, I've got all the hardening compounds and the gloss medium, it's all built into the paint. I can of course mess around with it and do lots of different things, which is pretty cool. But uh, no, I don't, I don't actually have to do anything. Oh, Murder Ballad says, looks like a murder scene. Excellent. It, it, it won't do when I've finished. Well, actually it might do, who, who knows, who knows? Right. 
Uh, H. Waring, is that you, Hilary? Hilary Waring, identify yourself. Looks amazing, thank you. Elizabeth hepler -Roth says, I love it too. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so Marcus Smith says, do I ever paint with oils? And what's the paint that I'm using to do my artworks? Um, thank, that's a brilliant question, thank you so much. Um, no, never use oils. These actually are enamel paints and I've used them now for about 10 years and I, uh, I discovered them again just pretty much by accident like I discover most things but they're beautifully expressive I just can't see a world where I don't use them I mean at their heart they're an industrial coating so they're the kinds of things that you see painted you know, ships and bridges with um, but uh, for me they are just the most beautiful medium they're hard work which as you can see from here is why I have to use a breathing mask and uh, I have to have an extraction system going and all the other things so I have to put a lot of infrastructure in if I want to keep myself from dying but they are the most exceptional mediums to work with you know I've, I've said on a few streams before oh if only you could get to come and do this well you know I mean I think at some point I'm gonna to have to offer you know these experiences where you can come and have a go at this because it is the most beautiful medium to work with even if it wants to kill you <laughs> every time you open a tin of paint right i'm just checking my colleague who's that just joined us derek van dusen's just joined us hello good evening derek one.com asks how do you decide names for your art that's a very very good question well it, it is <laughs> it is it is one i do get asked quite a lot um a lot are named after quite obscure music tracks you know I'm, I, I'm a very I do like all kinds of weird and wonderful music and uh, especially instrumental tracks and they tend to have some really oh look what's happened no my ends come off again boo right there you are it's a masterpiece it's finished uh, let me just take that up yeah so names do come from all over the place really um, but mainly there we go that's better mainly for music tracks that kind of thing or I'll put combinations of words together now if I can just sidetrack you off just for a moment I uh, picked up some white there and I was quite anxious to just feature a little bit of that because I want to sort of fill in this here in the center and maybe bring some white out into some of the areas I haven't kind of got to at the moment so just quite so easy to overwork this and I've got an idea you know this idea in my head what I want to do just trying to make sure before I go in with the applications over the top that I get everything covered. Yeah, that's good. So, I think uh, Aid is just reduced the colour intensity on the overhead camera. Might have um, been popping a little bit. Some of you might be tripping. <laughs> oh, Aid, it's great round here. It's all so colourful. Uh, that would be funny. Right, so I think Aid is going to zoom in now, give you a little look at some of the patterns that are forming now I'm trying to give the, a kind of a well I don't even know how to describe it like a central kind of theme going on here but I'm also quite anxious that you know the, the paints only got a certain amount of time before <coughs> it starts to skin over and uh, let's see if I can that's better so I'm quite anxious just to get this as a as a coat done into some reasonable kind of shape so I've got it more or less how I want it before things start to become problematic for me. So this is really, we're just in the spreading out and sorting out stage at the moment. I'm going to leave that black in the, in the corner just for a moment. Okay, we'll go back to the chat in a minute. I just want to, concerned or too bothered with what's going on in the centre because I am going to be covering some of that up. But then when Ada goes to the overhead, I'll be able to have a look on the laptop behind me. Uh, and kind of get a visual on okay where's my where's the next kind of level of work that I need to concentrate on so I think I would hope that's looking pretty reasonable so far bear in mind what I want to achieve I do need some fairly big blocks of colour in this uh, because we're going to go heavy on gold in a minute and that's really going to be the show stealer so if I'm going to keep some of these really nice shapes going and keep them constant I can't afford to cover them over with the gold when I start attacking it. Yeah, Tim says 
spray some special sauce. To those of you that may not know what that means, I've got a combination of chemicals, which I don't know quite how, but a few weeks ago we, we labelled a special sauce, which is a combination of some unmentionable things, um, but it does have some quite cool effect on the paintings. Right, so I think I'm just going to get this black moved into the corners, but I, I might pick up a brush to blend this in actually, because it's not, it's getting a little bit grey, and actually I, what I did want to do was bring some darkness out. It's really, really important because I need to kind of balance all these really huge colours up. All right, so I'm just going to take a moment there, let me have a look on the overhead. Yeah, it is greyed out just a little bit, so that's fine. We've got to be able to react to this as we go along. I'll just sort these corners out before we go in with the with the gold and all the beautiful things over the top. We'll have a little look at some chat. Okay. And also, I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. I'm, I like I like the purple, don't get me wrong, but there isn't enough of it. So I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop a little bit in here. Um oh getting a bit slippy there. I'm sure one of these days I'm gonna be right over. Right, I just want to put that towards the centre, that's fine. I'm just going to leave that just to soak in, because I can see on the, uh, uh, I can see here that it's just, um, it's going to probably start to dissipate into the pools of paint that are already there, but that's fine. Right, so yes, we definitely need more black, Megan, yes, and don't worry, there will be lots of gold coming. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, people. I I've got a door, huh? Right, okay. Well, he, Ian likes his nebulas, doesn't he? That's a good title, actually. Yeah, if you've got any good titles, and everyone, then please do share it. Right, let's, let's, uh, I'm using a sponge here. I'm using a sponge applicator. And uh, I'm going to whack some of this black on, because it has just, I don't think there's the volume that I required in the corner. So I'm using a brand new uh, applicator here. It's not something I normally use, but it was on the shelf, and I thought, ah, let's just... Let's just give it a go, shall we? Right, let's feed some of that in. Okay, so you can probably see on the overhead now, I'm just going to, I'm going to sort of tease some of this. It's already, I can already start to feel, going to get, uh, it's feeling a little bit like it's starting to um, go off a little bit, which is fine. So let's just, we can move that around a little bit and I'll have to probably give that a spray. That'll help me give it a little bit of a blend. Don't want to get it too muddy. What Italian accent, funny fox, huh? Huh? What, 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 what are you, what are you talking, what are you going to do, huh? Uh, what, what, are you, what are you talking about, huh? Yeah, you people. <laughs> okay, let's do the same, Let, let's mirror this up now. It's not too bad this side because I've only just worked it, so the paint's uh, still quite fresh. So let's get some nice action-y kind of swirly mofos in there. Nice. Okay, a colleague just talking in my ear. Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. Okay. Now, please remember, guys, please do stay in the chat because I am going to be uh, doing the draw. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye on the time because obviously I'm not going to keep you here all night. Um, so please do stay active because you're going to want to know whether you've won or not. So, uh... <laughs> We've got a few minutes yet before that, so if you need to make a cup of tea, take your iPad or your tablet or your smartphone with you. Go and make a drink, because we, we aren't going to be too long, and we're going to be doing the draw. And um, trust me, that's one thing you do not want to miss. Thanks, Trove. That's very kind. And for the multiple angles, well, that's my colleague uh, outside who's in control, deciding on what you're watching. We particularly do like the old camera one, actually. I, th I think he deserves a round of applause. Give yourself a round of applause, Mr. Mr. Adrian, do it. Hey, that's pretty good. Did, did, he, did, did he just play a... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, OK. Well, I think he's getting above his station, everyone. <laughs> that's above his pay grade, look. <laughs> oh dear. So, please do tell me, uh, if, if you're new here, 
Um, so this is your first sort of half an hour. Give me your feedback. Is it rubbish? Is it a bit of fun? Is it what you expected? Um, where did you hear about about the live stream? Uh, I would be really curious to get your feedback, you know. And if the stuff that you uh, you don't like or don't think's working for you, then please, please, please help us get better. Do give us your feedback. I will always listen. You can send me an email. Um, anything you want. I'd always, always really be grateful of any feedback because all we want to do is just get better. Uh, that, that's it. That's all we ever want to do. Be the best. <sighs> okay. And if you are new here, we would please, please love you to subscribe. You know, there's, a, there's so much stuff coming out on YouTube. I'm really working hard with AD at the moment on video editing and learning new skills. So we're really, really constantly trying to push our own boundaries. Uh, you know, not just with the paintings and creativity, uh, but also delivering stuff back to you. You know, you're supporting us. Uh, and it's important we try and give you the best of us that we possibly can. So it's such a hugely important thing to us and you're all part of it. Yeah, are we on PTZ, buddy? Yeah. So it, it's just hugely, hugely important for us, everybody. And we're, we're really so, so grateful that you take the time to tune in week in, week out and we're very very humbled by it and as long as we can continue to do this we will continue to do it so i just want to say a massive thank you on behalf of both of us for for, for doing this and for taking the time out of your day so thank you okay quick look at the chat and we're going to go in with the gold okay what have we got paul rose i think everything you do is amazing buddy no oh. yeah paul what are you like thank you anyway <laughs> really thanks <laughs> Uh, Michael Squire, I'm still here. Mmm, tea sounds good. Yeah, milk and one sugar, is that right? Earl Grey, thanks very much. Uh, by the way, don't all get on my case if you think Earl Grey shouldn't be drunk with milk. I know I shouldn't drink it like that. Uh, okay, uh, throw some diamonds on it. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, what was that, Lo what was that, buddy? Lotus feet, very good. I think some diamonds on there would go nice and call it uh, shine on you crazy diamond very good a nice stripe of lime green through the middle mm, similar to the coca-cola font very nice marcus smythe is that smith or smythe live feed is excellent so the artist tips and tricks on youtube channel thank you so much marcus massive massive appreciation for that um thank you trove for the shout out denise weeks brilliant leone holmes hello how are you doing cosmic geode <laughs> I think we need to make a note of that one. Right, let's just get my gloves changed. Nicky J, my son wants to do some abstract art. He's 11, a 11 year old fan. Whoa, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. You should all, I think we'd all have to have a massive party. If I ever get enough money, I'm gonna invite you all over and pay for you all to come over here for a massive party and we can do some painting. How cool would that be? Remember, if you're uh, still watching this at home or you've just joined, we are giving away the painting today. All you've got to do is leave me a comment, that's all you've got to do, and you're in the draw. And we're going to be revealing it, probably, how, what time are we on, buddy? How long are we in? Okay, so remember, anyone who's in the chat right now has already been noted down, so you're already in the draw, so please don't worry, okay? But you obviously got to stay, because we're going to call it out at the end. Okay, KR, you're new. Hello, good evening. Looking great so far. Some of the angles hard to see on the piece. My first live stream, yeah. It, it, it's it's always like that, uh, KR. You know, we are trying to do our best. We've, we've got to light it for the cameras. It is quite difficult to light. And I do appreciate, you know, you can't get the entire wonderful nuances of all the paints, you know, probably from, from where you are. But if I can stand still for a second where you could just see some of these textures hopefully starting to appear as the light hits it we, we are really trying our best so i hope hope that you're enjoying certainly what we've got so far oh darn it i've just seen two little spaces that need t touching up two or three right almost ready to go with the gold my friends uh okay i think barring one space we're good so what i'm going to do with the gold essentially I'm going to do some nice pours in the middle. So what I'm going to do, this is quite, um, if we can whiz on to, which one are we on, buddy? 
Right over there. So what I've got here, ladies and gents, is a beautiful rich gold. Now this has been sat in the cup for probably... Hmm, right, how's that looking? Oh, look at that. Now this has been uh, out of the tin for about four days. Um, and I've been stirring it because I wanted to thicken up. The whole point I needed to thicken up is because when it goes onto here, onto already wet paint, I need it to hold its shape as much as it, I possibly can. So, I think if we're ready, I just need to shut the hell up and get on with this, don't I? Right, okay, here we go. Let's go on the overhead cam now. Okay, let's plan this out. Where am I, where am I going with this? I'm, I'm sorely tempted, actually, to do two opposing, two opposing arcs. Something here, are going that way, and something there, and going that way. Hmm, what do we think? Right, let's have a look on the laptop and on the overhead. Yeah, I think I might... Yeah, this, this is feeling like it's kind of like, sort of, with the shape in the middle, that that's what I'm going to do. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine. That's really kind of you if you comment, and I really do appreciate it. Whoa, boy, oh boy. Oh, looks feathery, does it? Funny fox, thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, yeah Zane um, I know my process is, is can be quite a quick one believe me it's not always like that <laughs> it's it's a very dangerous thing you know and I'm using I'm using paints that allow me to do things very very quickly you know so you, it's the trade-off with your health and the amount of you have to go through to use them, that's the trade-off, you then get to use them fairly quickly. So I, I guess it swings and roundabouts. Um, uh, yeah, Ian, that's a very good comment about a circle, but I'm kind of feeling I need to do... If I can just stand somewhere here, I might try and get a couple of arcs. I've just got to make sure I don't mess this up. Oh, blimey. This is always the stressful bit. Okay, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Right, where am I going? I'm going there, I'm going there, and I'm going to tail it off and come back through. Okay, let's go for it. Woo! Man, that's a big one. Okay, so I now need to do the same in the opposite direction. Ah, oh, blimey. Here we go, here we go. Okay, woo! We got some gold, man. I quite like that. That's good. Okay, right. What I'm going to do, because I need to see how far these shapes are moving, I'm going to just spread, get rid of what's on the side, otherwise I can't really visualise that too well. Okay, thank you for sticking with us, ladies and gents. It's really good of you. <coughs> we're going to be, uh, we're going to be doing the, uh, the draw very shortly. Maybe in about, sort of, uh, Eight to ten minutes tops, if I can just shut up for a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 me. Nearly went, nearly went. <laughs> um. <sighs> oh, dear Lord. Well, there's a dog Connor then. Dear Lord. I'm taking my life into my own hands here. Oh, dear. Thank you, Peter Griffin. Right. Okay, I'm going in with a brush here, but don't don't think I'm going to do anything normal. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the gold so far. That's nice and swoopy. So let's get um, let's get a, a, a few accents in here. Freak out tent so drunk. Goodness me! I think we'll all come round your house, shall we? Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking that so far. So let's have a look on the overhead. Uh, right, let me have a look because there's a small delay. Mm, KR says, just got to... Jealous of your awesome studio. <laughs> Mode of ballad. How many of you here are also artists? Good question. Rub, smoke and sauce. Love it, beautiful. Hi, how you doing? Nice to hear you. Um, okay. Just having a look at that on the overhead. So just bear with me while I try and size that up. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, first munch, what's your new? Hello, how good evening to you. Uh, Rasmus Blythe, hello, good evening. Freak out tent, I just threw up, oh dear. Oh dear, that's not, it's, 
A uh, free coat tent just threw up. <laughs> Uh, Formula Red Line says the trip and fall, yes, <laughs> I nearly did trip and fall. Uh, Nesto Munoz, the colours are combining beautifully, thank you so much. And uh, what else have we got? Penny Kent, anybody from Minnesota? Yeah, it does look like practicals. Dave Kunz, Kunz? I want to let you know if I win the painting, we'll go to a good cause, my big empty wall. <laughs> Lol. Thanks, Dave. Um, if you're new and you just haven't caught what I said earlier on, all you've got to do is drop me a comment and you're in the draw to win. So as long as you understand that, then just leave one comment, you will be in the draw to win. And we literally, we're only minutes away from that now, ladies and gents. I'm just going to have one final look at this before I move it away. And I quite like that, I must admit. I'm just going to have a little, my special sauce is coming out because there's just one or two small areas. I, I want a little treat with, and um, that's one of them there. That is there. Uh, that area there. I want to just do something here where it's moving and in the center. Okay, good. Right. I'm not going to do any more to that now. I rather like that. That's, that's pretty joyous in my book. Okay, right. So I might, I'm tempted to move that out of the way now and roll the other one out. Right. What time are we on, my friend? I'll talk to Adrian outside. 46 minutes. Right, so, funny foxes, are we closing the draw already? I think we'll close it in four minutes' time, everybody. Okay, so at uh, 2020 UK time, so according to this, it's yes, it's around about three and a half, four minutes. Um, we'll do the draw. Okay, so ladies and gents, you've got a couple of minutes now just to get your comment in. And uh, then we're going to do the draw, okay? But I think I'm going to stop with this now. Because I like that. That's a very happy thing. I think I'm going to move it to the back just so I don't keep falling over. Um, ages speak to me. No, mate, I got it. I can just put it. I created some space, so I'm good. I'm good. So let me move that. So you've got a couple of minutes, ladies and gents. Give me your comment. And we're going to do the draw. I'll check in with the draw master in just a moment that we are good because we're having uh, a lot of help to do this this evening Whoa. let's move this way oh. okay now the only thing I didn't put on was that uh, turquoisey blue no Interesting. No, do you know what? I don't think it needs it. I'm going to leave it. That's my executive decision. Yeah, which camera are we on, buddy? Yeah, so look, I was tempted to put this on. This duck egg blue, but I, I just think it might start and just take away from, from it. So, I'm going to leave it. I don't always know when to leave things alone, and quite often I just tend to ruin them. So, do you know what? I'm going to stop. Fallen Rose Petals as a title. That's very good. That's very good. Right. You've got just um, a minute and a half left now. Hopefully everybody has offered a comment. Whilst we are waiting for the draw to close. Oh. Scott Robert Henderson for a title. Medium rare. <laughs> oh, that, you, you got me, man. That's funny. Uh, if it was any darker, it would be well done. Boom. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, you guys are so funny tonight. You're on it. Right, okay, so don't think we're uh, don't think we're gonna get chance really to do this tonight, but yeah Rita, you're right, I think this would be the, the blue would go into this one. But um, we're on to the exciting bit now, ladies and gents. This is the bit you've all been waiting for. This is gonna be the reveal. The last few seconds. Okay. Oh, over 150 viewers! Way! That's a record! 152, thank you everybody! Are we on corner cam? Gosh, thank you so much, that's a record for us! Wow! That's... That's incredible! Thank, I don't know what to say! Thank you so much! This is brilliant! And there's so many new... New faces and new names, so if you, it's your first time here! 
thank you thank you thank you i can't thank you enough this is amazing you'll give up your time to watch us doing our thing i think it's astonishing so i'm really really grateful oh boy right okay so right uh now we are going to close the draw the draw is officially dun, dun, dun. The drawer is now closed. Come, that's it, ladies and gents. It's done. If you've already left a comment, you're in the drawer. We're going to be drawing it very, very shortly. Woo. I think I need to lie down now. <laughs> so we've got just enough charge left on the uh, chest cam that when my laptop comes in here, we're going to spin the wheel. Oh yeah. Right then. Okay. So. While we're waiting for that to happen, what else can I show you? Oh, I suppose I should show you the painting, shouldn't I? Right, let's go over here. I had got my rolling pin out, because I think at some point we're going to do some rolling pin stuff. Yeah! Um, and it's not so I can do my ab crunches, because blatantly I can't do any. But uh, at some point I think we're going to have to use the rolling pin. I've never used one. Never used one. Well, that could be quite, quite a giggle, couldn't it? Right then, okay. I can hear the zips into the pod. So I hopefully now, hopefully now, uh, I can get uh, get the laptop in here and we'll do it. Are we excited? Are we excited? 157 watches. Oh, this is just brilliant. Oh, right. There we go. Okay. Shuffle and then draw, yeah. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, why have one laptop when you can have two? Okay, right, we'll just wait for things to settle down. This is it. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, right. Chess cam, I'm going to talk to control. Are we on chess cam? Right, so can we now see the spinning wheel. We can see the spinning wheel. Right, we are all on here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give it a shuffle up in the top right hand corner. We are all shuffled. Everybody's name is on that wheel in the center. God. <sighs> right. Come on. Ed, put us out of our misery. I can hear you all going, come on, Ed, come on. Right. Chaos is it every Wednesday you go live. Hell yeah! Every Wednesday we are here. Tell all your friends. Oh yeah! Right, so we've done a shuffle. We're all in there. Are we ready? I'm going to count us down. I know, Scott. I'm nervous too. Right. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, is my chest cam just frozen? You have to be kidding me. Right. Okay, uh, he's just going to go. He's going to go to corner cam just for a second. Chess cam is back. <laughs> this is not the time to have a technical. What? What is the universe doing? <laughs> I can't hold my breath any longer. Right, have we got this? Have we got my? Here's my finger. Look, the lucky finger. Here we go. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. We're spinning the wheel! We're spinning the wheel! We're spinning the wheel! Where's it going to stop? Where's it going to stop? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! 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 Where's it going to stop? Where's it going to stop? It's going to stop! On oh, Nikki J! Nikki J is the winner! Woohoo! Look at that! There we go! It's on the screen! I only used one finger to do it! We have a winner! Congratulations, Nikki J! There you go. There you go, we've done it. So, shall we see now what Nikki has won? Shall we do that? Yeah? I think so. Right, I'm going to unveil it now. This is an original painting. Done by my own fair hands. Oh, sorry Tim, you didn't win. I'm commiserations, everyone. I feel so sorry for the other 157 people. I'm so sorry. 164, good lord. 
we'll have to do it again. Actually, just before I show Nicky watches one, we'll, should we do it again? Should we have a thumbs up for doing it again? Nicky, oh, Nicky's got in touch. Yay, well done. That was completely <laughs> random draw, and you are the winner. Do you want to see what you've won? Do you want to see what you could have won? Here we go, here we go. Right, one original, created by my own fair hand. I'll cover it up, and I will bring it over. Make sure I don't kill myself. Oh look, there's the back of it. Oh look, I should have cut that. Right, here we go. I hope you like gold. I hope you like white and black. I hope you like orange. I hope you like uh, whatever other colours are. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. Okay, are you ready? So, 45 centimetres by 90. Original Suarez. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Da, da, da. Yay! There we go. We have an original Suarez masterpiece. Or should that be disaster piece? I don't really know. So it's signed on the reverse. You'll get full certification and evaluation letter. And uh, this is exactly the same as I would sell on the site for any painting. Same material, same canvas, same frames. It would have been painted in here along with any of the others. So congratulations, Nikki. Well done. You are now the proud owner of a Suarez. In fact, should we just sign it in front of you? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a pen. Should we just do it? Do it. Oh. Just do it. I'm so excited. I have got a pen. It's all gone south of the border now because I now can't find a... We can't find my pen. What have I done, done with my pen? He's, he's got it somewhere. Right, hey, my, my good colleague is just going to hand me a pen. I'm going to sign it on air. There we go, a hand just appears. Right, are you ready? Do we know what it's called? I know what it's called. Right, here we go. Are we ready then? Where do you want to spend the summer? In the sunshine? Is that your destination? In that case, Nikki, welcome to Destination Sunshine. What a great way to banish the winter blues. A welcome in the spring and the nicer weather. Here we go, here we go. There you go. Be worth millions in the future, that. You are a winner. Well done and congratulations. And thank you, everybody, for taking part and for sticking me out for an hour this evening. I'm going to pop that there. Don't worry, there's no paint on the floor. We're all right. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nikki, if you'd be kind enough to send me an email to info at suarez.co.uk, go to the bottom of the site and drop me an email. I'm going to need your address details, etc, etc. Just get in touch and we'll have a conversation about getting it to you, wherever you are. So, ladies and gents, we've done it. We've given away a painting and I'm going to leave you with this little soup song. For those of you that have watched the stream before, you might know that when we got to 10,000 subscribers, we were going to give a painting away. Believe it or not, we've tried twice, <laughs> and we still can't give it away. <laughs> Please don't make a facetious comment. So I'm actually going to be doing another draw next week for a really big painting. I'll pop some links out on social media this week, so please do keep an eye on it. And on this video, by probably the end of the evening, if not tomorrow morning, I'll pop a link on for the art giveaway. If you are subscribed to the channel, have a little look through the videos. Go and look for the art giveaway. It's about seven or eight videos down. And go and leave me a comment on there because we're going to draw it again. So you're still in with a chance of winning another artwork. We literally can't give either of them away because the people we get in touch with don't get in touch back, which is quite embarrassing. I thought they wanted to win it. What am I like? So, we'll sort that out ready for next week. So please, if you've enjoyed this week, tune in next week and we're going to draw for another painting giveaway. This time, a really big one. And again, like every, like every time, we'll send it anywhere on the planet to whoever wins. Okay, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed tonight's live stream. Thank you for welcoming us back after a two week uh, sabbatical. <laughs> I've had immense fun. I'm shattered now, but I'm really excited that uh, we've got a winner finally. So well done, Nikki J. Thank you, everybody, for taking part. I think we all deserve a round of applause. Let's have a round of applause, shall we? Oh, 
Okay, so thank you, thank you everybody. And we've had some very, uh, very special help out in the office as, as well this evening. Um, so I want to just to, to thank the the, uh, the the special lady who's been helping us this evening as well. So thank you very much indeed. And uh, thank you to AD. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's tie this up now so you can go off and live your lives. And uh, I hope to see you again next week. And uh, this week was going to be Explosions Week, but I've decided on something else. So next week, I think, we're probably going to do Explosive Week. Not with real explosives. That will be bad and completely irresponsible. But hey, we might just do that sometime. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so, Ada's going to pop a little thank you out on the chat. You've been amazing tonight, ladies and gents. So we're so, so grateful for all your brilliant feedback. We take it all on board. Thank you, thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you next week. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Pop a subscribe on down below. Lots of stuff coming out. And until we meet again, my friends, I bid you a very good evening. And thank you and a very good night from Suarez HQ.